Okay, today folks, I'm going to go over um, this bullet point, at least part of it, how to make sure your title elements and, or make sure that your title elements and alt, alt attributes are descriptive and accurate. Okay, I'm gonna go over this, uh, this first part, the title element. Um, that's the, the piece that we're gonna go over today, and uh, I'll show you how to add that in, in Zara. Um, first of all, uh, on my example website, I'll show you where that is. When I search it right now, my title element for the home page is home dash the biggest investment you'll ever make. Okay. If I go to Zara Web Designer, and I've already clicked on it here, but I'll show you how it, I, I click on the page that I in question, and I can click on here the website properties or the page properties. This is actually the one that I want to go to. And for the page properties on the page tab, you can see that the file name is index and the page title is home, the biggest uh, investment you'll ever make. Now, I want to, uh, to change that slightly um, to something that involves uh, North Te Texas residential inspe inspections, but I think that's going to be a bit large, so I'm just going to uh, type in North Texas inspections. There we go. And that's more or less it. I'll hit press apply to make sure that that saves. Um, a related topic uh, is the website title. Um, this is the default title for all the web pages if you don't enter one for each page. Um, and for mine, I've entered it as North Texas Residential Inspections. It's on the website tab in the web properties uh, uh, dialog box. So that's, uh, that's about it. Um, we will cover uh, alt tabs in a separate one, and I also want to co uh, cover these uh, descriptions, both the page and the website descriptions in a, in a separate one. Um, and I'll cover keywords as well. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you uh, found that informative. I'll see you back next time.